blessings to everyone, peace and love. Hopefully everyone is watching this video is doing okay. Hopefully you had a great Father's Day. That was actually my 51st birthday yesterday and I spent it here. So I'm opening up and letting you all know what's really going on, what's been happening. Um, May 29th, my entire um, bedroom caught on fire. I was asleep. I wasn't in a room. I was in the living room with my daughter. Um, I can't talk much about the fire because I haven't talked to an investigator about what could have started it. Um, so I don't want to go into detail about that. But yes, I've been staying at a hotel since May 29th. And I think I even came out and said that I was going to be doing more videos and stuff. I think I sent out a post or whatever. But I didn't say anything about what was going on again. Um, it's been devastating. We're trying to adjust. We're trying to, you know, we lost everything. I mean, everything that wasn't damaged in the fire was damaged with either smoke or water. So, you know, the main thing is that myself, my daughter, and my dog, Lucky Osiris, got out of the house. They ran out the front door. I ran out the back door. And, um, we um, alerted other people in the building about the fire as we were going down. So all of my family in the building and my friends got out safely. So I just wanted to come out and like be really honest about what's going on. You know, I always talk about mental, physical, mental, and spiritual health. Well, one of the things um, physically, yes, I have still been consistently working out. Um, that's something I just can't stop because if I stop, honestly, I think that my mental will just like break down 100%. I'm not saying that I haven't broken down. I'm not saying that this is easy by any means. I mean, as you can see, I'm coming on here. <laughs> Y'all know I'm always made up lips, always whatever. You know, I always got on some type of lip gloss or lipstick or something. I always have my eyeshadow. I always have my face beat, but... I'm not feeling that right now. I didn't celebrate my birthday. I didn't celebrate Father's Day. I didn't get the chance to go see my dad or anything like that, like I thought I was. Um, I've just been trying to adapt. I've been in this hotel for three weeks now. The 21st May, three weeks. Um, I can't, like I said, I can't really go into details about um, how bad it is. Yes, I had to go there today to see if there was anything left to salvage and really there wasn't you know it's hard it's really hard because we had graduation pictures they they did say that they would resend the, the graduation pictures for free which was nice that's um oh my daughter started a business during this time uh, which was, we were trying to start before the fire had started so I'm sorry about the color the lighting um, I'm in the lobby of the hotel just needed to get a break from Lucky, you all know that he's jumping all over me all the time. So, yeah, I just want to be open and honest with my family here, my YouTube family that supports me. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the birthday wishes. Thank you, everybody, for the graduation, uh, giving Isis her, you know, her flowers for being a valid, valedictorian. Um, I'm so proud of her. She did really good. The Fortunately, we made the graduation and everything went well. Her school has been supporting us greatly. So many people have supported us. And I just want to thank everybody who's been a part of that. Thank you, Ross Angles, for coming through and allowing me to come back into the salon and do my daughter's hair for her graduation. Yeti, thank you. Kirk, thank you so much. Um, that was really, I mean, that was an experience. Um, I hadn't been in the salon doing hair in a long time. and. Even though I still do her hair at home, it just felt so much better being in the salon atmosphere. So thank you all for still being my family and being there for me. Um, we are looking for an apartment. So as soon as we move, hopefully it'll be within the next week. Um, I've been checking out places, but you know I'm not going to just jump and move anywhere. We have to leave from where we're at um, this Friday because I think it's a convention or so going on here. So we'll be leaving from here. As you can see in the background, we're right off the lake right down. That's far from where we used to live. 
But yeah, it's devastating. I'm not going to sit up here and try to act like I got it all together. I don't. Um, as you can see. But I'm, I'm just, I've always been transparent with you all. I've always been open. And I just want to say that we're okay. Yes. Um, we basically don't have keys to a place right now. So I'm, I'm not going to say the homeless thing. I don't I, we're not homeless. I still have my studio or whatever, but that's not going to happen. We're going to move into an apartment. I just need everybody to send love and light and blessings and, you know, just know that, yes, I want to continue to produce, you know, videos and stuff, but I want to, um, I want to be settled. I want to be in a place that is comfortable and safe for me and my child, my daughter. You know, I'm a single, you all know I'm a single parent. Um, been single for a long time, and um, I have my dog and my daughter to take care of. So I just wanted to put that out there, you all. We are safe. We're alive. And I should be able to link Isis' new store down below. So if you get a chance, check out her store. For some reason, my Teespring store is not working, but I'm, I'm working on that. So I just wanted to put it out here that we're okay, you all. And yes, the fire was devastating, but... Wow, you know, it's crazy because sometimes you think that you, the, we had made our apartment to the way that it was totally comfortable for us. Totally comfortable for us to work on both of our desired businesses and stuff and, you know, multiple businesses actually we were, we were thinking about. So, you know, we had just made the place really comfortable, got a lot of things fixed. The landlord, my cousin, she um, graciously allowed me to get everything fixed in my kitchen, my bathrooms, my lights, my some of my electrical outlets. So I'm grateful for that, Judith um, Armstead. I really appreciate her. Um, 12 years, 12 years in August. And um, well, we gotta start all over. We have to start all over and it's okay. It's okay, because I'm not by myself, I have my daughter. So peace and love you all. Again, I'm not asking for anything, just love and light, you know. Um, nobody died. I know that I sent out a message before and I said that it was devastating or whatever, but no one died. My father is still alive. He did have a fall. He's out of the hospital. He's doing well. Um, my sisters have been supportive. Um, my little sister, Erica Lynn, she has been amazing. My nephew, Kimmy, um, his birthday is on the same day as mine, June 20th. It was yesterday, Father's Day. An amazing. Um, and that's it. I don't know anything else to say. So I'm just going to end this and let you all know that, yeah, this is unexpected. And disasters happen. And as far as my mental state, yeah, yesterday was a rough day. I had like major anxiety, a major panic attack, could not leave the hotel room, tore my contact. <laughs> so I couldn't see. And then I found my, my old glasses because um, the new ones were in the fire. But that's it. I'm not going to keep you all. I know I'm looking <laughs> rough, but somebody made a comment the other day, one of my friends that I hadn't put out a video. And I was like, girl, you know what I've been through? Why are you talking about a video? <laughs> Alright, y'all. So this is the last time y'all gonna see me looking like this because y'all know I don't get down like that. Alright. Peace and love, everybody.